Okay, so thanks for coming back, guys. This is Yoshino. Is that how you say it? Yes, Yoshino. Yoshino. Uh, this is a system I have not seen before, but I saw them here at CES 2023, and it really caught my eye. And they have a few different versions. Uh, so this is Vince. And Vince, what's your role at Yoshino? I'm VP uh, Product and Marketing. Okay. So tell us a little bit about what these are, how they work, what makes them different than anybody else. Uh, so what makes them different, definitely what makes them different than anybody else is solid state technology. So okay. we are the first to bring a true solid state battery into a portable power station. And okay. so, you know, the advantages of a solid state battery um, okay. Obviously, it's a, it's a different battery cell, it's a different uh, uh, technology, so yeah. instead of having a liquid electrolyte like everybody uses in a traditional battery, whether it's uh, MCM or a lithium phosphate, you know, they still have a liquid le electrolyte. We have a solid electrolyte, which is not flammable. So we take uh, you know, okay. safety up to another level, it's completely safe, no, not flammable. But the nice thing too is you have a different form factor with the yeah. power styles I grew up on as opposed Island, so to a cylindrical battery cell. Packed, up, it's lighter. The so in a portable power station, yeah, that's really yeah. two of the best features, right? It's all about size and weight, uh, so and obviously capacity and price. But after that, size and weight. Um, so now we're able to get a lighter, smaller portable power station with equal okay. or better energy density um, using a solid state battery, and it's safer. Yeah, that's so, one of the main things so. people comment is these systems are so heavy that they can't move them. Right. And at least for my audience, the majority of them are looking at it from an emergency backup power. Um, option or possibly RVing or van life. So having it be lighter is a big difference. Now this main unit, what is what's the inverter and battery and all those kind of specs? So this is our this is our four thousand watt output. It's got a two point six kilowatt battery inside. What? It's solid state lithium two point six. That's quite surprising. This thing is not big guys. Like this is probably half the size of a Delta Pro. Oh yeah. This is and, and Wow. This is 55 pounds. 55 pounds? Yeah, I think okay. Delta Pro is what, 100 pounds? Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. 98 pounds. Yeah, this is 55 pounds. 4,000 watt inverter, 2,600 watt hour battery, and what's the solar input like? 600 watt solar input. 600 watt solar input, okay. Is there room to make a bigger solar input, a larger MPPT? I'm sure, I don't know if there's room in this current housing, uh -huh. um, because this housing is kind of optimized to get it as compact as possible. There's okay. not a lot of room, lot of room to put much else on this, but gotcha. I'm not sure. I'm sure if we wanted to, you know, do a different tooling or something, yeah, that it could, it could take more. But yeah. right now, that's it. 600 watts is, okay. our, is our solar input limit. And as far as longevity of solid state batteries over life PO4 or NMC, what's the difference? So it's it's really, you have to look at it as a first, I guess, apple to apple, um, solid state versus traditional in that chemistry. So, okay. um, so the NMC is traditionally like, you know, traditional NMC might be, say it's 500. Right. Right, cycles. This is actually an N NMC um, solid state. Okay. That's our chemistry, the same chemistry. But by being a solid state, you get all those advantages. This is 2,500 cycles. 2,500 cycles. Yes, so to 80 percent. Five times the amount of cycles. Right. So if you're okay. if you're doing apples to apples, NMC solid state is just so much better yeah. technology. Does it cost much chemistry. more to produce it, or is it similar? Or? So the, the, if you look at like okay, whether the you could Google the disadvantages of right. a solid state battery, you're only going to get two things. One is the price, and the other one is supply. Okay. Right. So we control the supply. Mm -hmm. We also control the price a lot too. So we're trying to be very competitive on this. So on this one, going back to the EcoFlow comparison, so an EcoFlow Delta Pro might be thirty six hundred dollars. This is thirty two hundred dollars. Okay, so you have so, a little bit less battery capacity, but same price. So, but a little bit less price, right? A little bit less capacity, but so that's kind of making up. But it's you know it's not. If you're going dollar per kilowatt, we're not quite there because it's right. solid state. It is a little bit more expensive. Right, but you're going to pay but, for that premium, for the the lightweight yes, and the portability. Yes, so and okay, yeah, safety and all of that. Yeah. Now, as far as expandability goes. Can you put two of these together for split phase? This doesn't have parallel connection to them, but what this does have is this has an infinite DC connection. So you, we can ha you can buy our own, our 2.6 batteries, okay. and you can expand infinitely. There is no limit on our, in our technology, there's no limit to how many batteries you can add to the system. So back here, we've got a cover for wall charging, solar input, just a couple of AC outlets, 
And then here, it says circuit breaker TT30 plug. 30 amp RV. 30 amp RV. So this is actually like 32 amps technically, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so that's yeah. your RV connection there. Yeah. You know, and at 4,000 output, 6,000 maximum, it'll do your AC and your RV if you need yep. to. Granted, at 2.6, it's not going to do it a long time, but you can still power it. Get about so probably two the, hours yeah. if you didn't have solar panels to yeah, help offset exactly. it. And then so this is your DC port you're talking about. Right. And so you can just add infinite number. And do you have to pre-balance them? or? No. Oh, you know, so it's just so basically you have to use our battery, but right. yeah, the, the battery management system and the technology in there is yeah, you just hook them up and go. So one could be at 50% because you just bought it, and this exactly. one could be at 100%. Right. It connect connects. it, and it'll auto balance. Yes. Okay, yes. and then those are all going to have the same amount of life cycles. But when you add more batteries, you're sharing the load of whatever you're running between the batteries. Right. So you're not running it as hard. And so, or each yeah. individual battery not going to run as hard. Right. This is going to help it last longer. Okay. Well, this is pretty cool. Um, how long have you guys been around? What so have you guys we're, been? We're a new company. Um, like really, you know, we're all about solid state technology. So as we've developed this technology, um, we're looking to, okay, where are we going to go to market with it right now? You know, it's portable power stage. So we've been around for about two years now. Okay. This product is just going to production now. It's going to be available first of May in our warehouses in okay. California. So we'll be shipping direct out of there um, the first of May. Um, so yeah, we're, we're excited. So we're looking at Q2 for this. Uh -huh. And this is 120 volts only. Yep. So if you don't need to run a well pump or an electric dryer, yeah. then this is going to be a good yeah. option. We do have an option coming. We have other uh, sizes coming. The next one will be a 240 okay. um, as well. So yeah, and the next one's going to be probably a 6,000 uh, watt output. So 6,000 watt inverter? Uh-huh. In a single unit? Yes. So are you saying that when you would put two of those together, you'd have 12,000 watts of output? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. that's quite impressive. Yeah. Okay. And then each of those, I'm assuming, will also have infinite battery expandability. Right, expandable, right. I would say from my perspective, the solar input would probably be the only thing that would be lacking, on, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. So if, if you guys are able to incorporate more solar input, because yeah. the way my audience and I tend to look at it is we have to be able to run essential loads, you know, lights, fans, freezers, fridge, whatever, uh, well pumps during the day and recharge the whole system within five hours. So that's kind of the math we base it on. Yeah. So if so, so typically, what kind of what's the solar uh, input you're looking for? Is it 800? Is it more? So on a system like this, well, so on a system like this, I would expect to see something like 1200. Yeah, so maybe just two MPPTs in here. Um, that or I mean, what would be mind blowing would be like 2,000 watts. I mean, obviously you'd have to make this bigger, um, but because then you'd be able to charge that with solar in less than two hours. That would be mind blowing because then. Realistically, if I'm running my fridge, freezer, and whatever else, you know, portable air conditioner, whatever, I could still realistically recharge the system in a single day right. in the five solar peak hours that right. exist. Right. So that's probably the only thing. Everything else sounds amazing to me, and especially the 240 with a 12,000 watt inverter. I mean, you could seriously run central air conditioning yeah. with that yeah. uh, very easily, and then you would just get the appropriate amount of batteries to be able to run it for however long you want. And then uh, and then especially when you can have okay. when you can have solar input uh, additional on each battery to offset. So say you max out this unit and then you, if each battery is also to add, you're also able to add more solar. That's another big deal because then you can infinitely scale it to work with whatever. And that's what a lot of people are looking for because you know, so I'm from Idaho and electricity is is really really cheap. And so there's solar companies going around giving quotes on going, you know, grid tie or whatever. And the cheapest one I've heard is $50,000. That's with no battery. It's basically just an inverter and solar panels and just to reduce electricity bill. And so the incentive really isn't there. People want backup. And uh, a lot of these systems you can do for less than 30,000 and you could nearly go off grid with them. I mean, we're not just talking reducing your electricity bill. We're talking almost go off grid. Right. Yeah. So that's that's where a lot of people are at with these because because there's so much done already, you don't have to do any of the wiring. You can pretty much put them on a shelf and connect them to the house and be done. So you only need an electrician for a tiny part of it. You don't need some solar crew that's gonna take six months and all these delays to, to get it in. 
And the nice thing about something like this, or even the large one, is it, it's still portable. So yeah. you need to take it yes. out of the house and use it. Yep. You know. Yeah, I have a lot of people right. who want to use it in their RV right. and then as a backup for their house. Yeah. Um, and then also, it's not a sunk investment because, like for me, I bought a house and then the housing market went through the roof yeah, and I haven't been able to buy a new house, yeah. but eventually I want to move yeah. and I don't want to have put $50,000 into that house and then have to sell that idea to the new buyer right. and then do it again at the new house. Yeah. I can just take the yeah. whole thing with me. Yeah. I like that a lot. You go. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think this is incredible. I think you guys are off to a great start. I think solid state is definitely some incredible technology. I'm anxious to see what you guys do. Hopefully we can collaborate together in the future. Guys, if this is something you'd be interested in, then leave a comment down below on what you're looking for. Because I'm sure they're gonna watch this video later and they wanna know from you what you want in a future system or even in this system so that way you get exactly what you want. Vince, I appreciate Absolutely. it. Thank Anything you. else to add? No, no, other than we're excited. You know, May 1st, we're ready to start shipping some product and yeah, looking okay. forward to that feedback and that interaction with the customers, so absolutely. May 1st, 2023. Appreciate it, guys. Be prepared. See you all in the next video.